Welcome to the Toy Rewind Podcast with your hosts, the Brothers Newland. Now, let's talk toys. Hello, everybody. I'm Michael. I'm Juniper John. And I'm Andrew. And you're listening to the Toy Rewind podcast. Uh, just a little place where the three of us like to get together and talk about toys from our childhood. Uh, this week, not from our child. I mean, from our childhood, no. but uh, nothing that we ever played with. Um, but we always try to get a little history lesson about what, how this toy ended up in our in our houses and on the shelves and everything. Um, depending on toys and everything. So this week, we're rewinding back to 1988, and we're going to talk about the Cherry Mary Muffin Dolls released by Mattel. So I don't know. We got a demand, I believe, that we talk about a quote-unquote girl toy real quick. Um, and this was on the list, I guess? Was this on the list, Michael? No, this was something that uh, Rainy posted in our Facebook uh, group and she said i've never don't remember these and i said well let's dig into it and see if we can figure out so what these are um, oh, yeah. i wonder i wonder who the uh quote-unquote demand came from <laughs> <laughs> we we have uh, a few of these name. yeah we have a few of these quote-unquote girl toys and i say that because they're not just girl toys they're they're toys it's fine mm -hmm. but you know depending on the year as to where they were kind of uh, pushed towards boys or girls or whatever. Um, these obviously in 88, obviously like I said, girl toy, but it's all good. We're going to talk about them. We're going to learn about them. But before we can do that, John, why don't you do your thing? Hey, Michael, you seemed a little confused about my name when I said it. Oh yeah. You threw, threw me off a little bit. <laughs> juniper john juniper juniper john. juniper berries they're the ones that make gin by the way so oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep a fragrance you know all right yeah, yeah. <laughs> smell their right. berries yeah yep so where to find us uh check our website over at toyrewindpodcast.com you can check us out on cross the streams media.com as well if you're on there Click on the little microphone down there. You can leave us a voicemail if you want to. You can email us at toyrewindpodcast at gmail.com. Instagram and X is Toy Rewind Pod. Facebook, uh, YouTube is Toy Rewind Podcast. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Not a lot left on this. One thing that I think I forgot to mention at the top of that is this is episode 139. <laughs> And I just want to make a little call out real quick. Joey, Clint, Nate, we're coming after you. Two more episodes, buddy. Two more episodes. That's all we got. And yeah, we, we, get, will... we get done with the countdown. Everybody get, everybody and they're get, already lined up, get... by the way. So <laughs> <laughs> We do. We have them lined up for 145 all the way to And we still have a, quite a few after that. We just have lined up for the actual 145. Um, so, yeah, right, we're coming after you guys. So hopefully you guys listen to this, you hear this, and you're going to tweet back and let us know what you think about our uh, 140 once we milestone. get there. So, yeah, yep. it's a pretty big milestone for us. So, uh, But we got to get there. So let's talk about some Cherry Mary Muffins. You guys ready? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> All right, let's rewind and get into it. <laughs> All right. That was a little... I don't, I don't... A crazy I don't know there. what was happening. It was like we're doing weird stuff. I don't know. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about Cherry Mary Muffin Dolls this week. Uh, so Cherry Mary Muffin uh, was was like Mattel's version of Strawberry Shortcake. Um, so these were six and a half inch dolls. Uh, they had names of various uh, food, food scents. Um, so Mattel pr produced these dolls from 1988 to 1990. And had three different series along with some play sets and some miniatures. Um, the miniatures were, were two and a half inches tall. 
Um, they also had some fashion wear, just a few few fashion wear things. Uh, so the dolls have like this silky hair and pastel outfits. Um, each uh, and, and they each smell like what their their name was. They each doll smelled like what their name was. Uh, like strawberry shortcake, you had, you had her, which smelled like strawberries, and you had um, the others that, that all had different smells. Um, uh, so, uh, so they had three different series. Um, so series one had five dolls, and these were all muffin themed because you know that's what they start out as as muffins. Um, so each doll had a each doll had it came with a bow in their hair. Uh, they wore dresses with aprons, and a, and a, there was a muffin sewn to the to the chest of the, the dress. There, um, they came with a little friend. Uh, they're kind of little weird looking little friends. Uh, each doll came with a comb, so you can comb the hair. Um, and they all came with like little a little little pan, and come with little six little muffins in it. And the muffins actually came; they're all in one piece, but they they sat down inside this little muffin pan where six. Uh, or, you, or it looked like it was six muffins, but it was all molded into one piece. Um, so let's let's talk about each each uh, each one in series one. So, like I said, these are six and a half inch dolls. Uh, there really wasn't much history other than the other than Mattel wanting a, a doll similar to Strawberry Shortcake. Um, so, right. So that's that's what where this actually came from. Uh, so the first doll, so Cherry Mary Muffin, uh, she's uh, she had she came with this little friend that you know, the packaging is, is a little pink with the little doll in the middle of it. Um, you can see inside the blister the the comb and the the muffins in there, and then the little friend that comes with it. Uh, the little friend looks like a little a little cherry uh, with a little face on it and with shoes on the bottom of it, <clears throat> little feet and little arms on there. So, um, the, uh, the friend's name was, uh, uh, was cherry sweet and it was actually a sugar shaker is what, she, what it was. Now each little friend is like an object I and mean, it looks like different things, but it's actually an object you, you use for cooking or something. So, uh, she was a sugar <clears throat> shaker. Um, they actually, uh, uh, this one actually had two different apron variations. You had one um that was just plain white and you had another one that was kind of pink with white stripes on it um yeah, i was gonna say john's got the pictures up if you're watching the video you can see the two differences between the yeah. two so you had uh and each one the the muffins that they come with they're different color muffins so this one she's got like little brown normal color muffins and then the muffin pan oh. is is kind of pink and the 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 combs match the same color as the muffin pans on those so. Is it an optical illusion to me, or is there a different face on those two dolls, or is it just the fact that the hair is put down behind one of them? No, it's the that's, hair, I think. It's the same. Hair. Yeah, it's the same face. Okay. Yeah. They pretty much all have the same the same face on it, except for one, and I'll talk about it in series two. But, uh, but yeah, so the comb and the and the and the muffin pan are the same color, made out of the same color uh, mold or same color uh, plastic. So, all right. So the next one you have Apple Amy, and you know Cherry Mary Muffin smells like a cherry. That smells like cherries. And Apple Amy, she smells like an apple. Wait, let me guess. Oh, okay. Apples. Yeah. So wait, what like kind of apple? Um, probably Ooh. a Granny Smith apple. I guess. I was about I to say. Know. I feel like it's got to be a Granny Smith. Because she's got she's got some green, um, teal top colors that are with her. So I'm I'm guessing kind of a greenish. Uh, Granny Smith apple, I guess. Uh, I don't have pictures of all their little buddies, so you have to describe those pretty good. Okay, okay. Um, so, so this is Apple Amy. Uh, she's a little, she's a darker complexion, um, and she's got black hair. Um, uh, so and Cherry Mary Muffin was blonde and was fair skin colored. Um, so this one, um, so her friend was uh, Apple Buddy, and he was actually a, a jug. Apple, but I guess it's a guy. I don't know, a boy. Uh, but uh, her friend was a jug named Apple Buddy. Uh, like I said, she came with a teal pan and a teal comb, and um, let me check something else out here. Um, 
yeah, and I guess all all the muffins are brown on them. So, uh, but the pan, the muffin pans are different colors. So, like she's the uh, apple buddy. Like I said, was a jug. He's kind of a teal color. He's got yellow yellow feet um, and a little face. They all have little little faces on them. Um, so that's your uh, so that's apple apple Amy and apple buddy. All right. So the next one is uh uh bananance banancy banancy that's her name so if we try to think his name was banana nancy but it's banancy uh so she smelled like a banana if you didn't guess that um uh, she's got yellow and and everything from head to toe she's she's no little uh she's got some some light brown blondish hair um her little buddy is called bitty banana and was a measuring spoon and it looks like a banana with a little cutout thing in the middle of it for for measuring like a measuring spoon so um the uh the muffin pan and the and the comb are yellow as well so you got anything for that andrew you were no i i'm just looking okay. just like there's a lot of yellow going on here there's a lot of yellow a lot of yellow, yellow. like like yeah, I feel like maybe she would have been. I, I get that she's <laughs> yeah. banana and everything, but I feel like it would have helped this doll if she was a brunette, just because there's a lot of yellow going on. And a this lot of yellow. Is, yeah. Um, I think so. if, if you look at the uh, the promo publicity picture, it has all all five of them in one picture together. Um, her hair is a little darker. Darker, darker brown. Okay, it's not as yeah. light as what this picture depicts. I, I don't know the the publicity are usually uh, those publicity pics that that come out of little catalogs and stuff. Those are usually um, some first uh, first time through makes. So things change before they actually end the production. After uh, they're probably just samples and stuff, and then they make some changes for production. So um, so that's that's Benancy. Uh, next we have is uh, Betty Berry, and Betty Berry is. Can you guess what she smells like? Uh, blueberries. Uh, blueberries. All right, and I showed the thing up for us in that. Uh, so I wasn't. Look, I wasn't looking at it. It's okay. Don't oh. worry. I wasn't actually looking at it. <laughs> so she's got a little bit reddish colored hair, but she's uh, she's got a lot of blue. Light blue and and some even lighter blue colors. Uh, she is her little friend that comes with her is called Little Dip. It's like a, a rapper, I guess. Little Dip, um, and Little Dip is a ladle, and it looks like a big that's, old. I, it's a big ladle. It doesn't even look like a normal size ladle. So I, that's that's my new rapper name, Little Little Dip. Little Dip. All little right. Dip. Little Dip. <laughs> <laughs> You go around with some chewing tobacco. Thanks, lip or thanks, something. Cherry Mary Muffin <laughs> and Mattel for giving me my rapper name, Little Dip. Little Dip. Yeah, uh, and then her comb and her her muffin pan are, are like a light blue color. Uh, so that's Betty Berry. Um, like I said, they, this first series here all comes with little bows in their hair too, so that kind of matches their dresses. Um, yeah. Okay, just, so next she looks good as a redhead, by the way. She looks good, like the red hair and the blue and the yellow. Like, there's not a lot of one color going on in this. The I'm looking at the promo <laughs> video because you are not the video, the picture. You didn't uh, like the all, all yellow, it's just so much. <laughs> like, somebody had to have been like, Man, there's a lot of yellow going on here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know they're bananas, but still. All right, what's next? Who's next? All right, so next we're gonna we got uh, chocolate or chocolati, chocolati, choco chocolati. And she's chocolate. Yeah, so she's chocolate since she smells like chocolate. Um, her little friend is called is named Chocolate Drop, and he's actually says he's a cookie cutter, but he looks like a a Hershey Kiss chocolate or a, <laughs> or nestle nestle toll house chocolate morsel chocolate chip that's what he looks well, like if, you, if i had a picture of the back it probably looks probably you could probably use it as a kick i mean he looks like an usable. emoji yeah he so looks they, like an emoji from the 80 from 88 
an emoji that looks like a chocolate chip, huh? Um, mm-hmm. So sure, uh, it's got little, a little. Like I said, they all have little faces on them. They got little feet. This one's got little red shoes. Um, all these dolls, they have shoes on them, but they're painted on, so they're not. They I was gonna on. say they're, they they're all painted. Off, no, they're all painted on shoes. So, um, okay, so that's Chocolate Lottie. Uh, so we're gonna go on to series two now. So that's one, two, three, four. So that was the five in series one. Uh, so series two had six dolls. Um, and instead of muffin theme, these guys, these, these dolls were, were cake themed. Um, there was four new dolls and there was actually two, let's see. Oh, there was two that actually came back from series one. Uh, so you had cherry and chocolatey. Uh, were, were were returns from they came back from series one. Those are only two that came back. Um, so uh, these dolls had new new different dresses, kind of a little different from the first dresses. Um, they had um, they had a cake shaped hat. They all came with hats. So John, you're showing the muffin one right there. So there you go. Oh, no, I didn't switch because you had. Oh, you had to switch. <laughs> okay. All right. So. I was about to say, uh, let's see. So they have little hats and they're all shaped like different kind of cakes. Um, and these cake hats also, you know, they, they strap around their heads with a little, um, a little ribbon Well, you can take the hats off and you can wear it as a bracelet. So you have a, a cake shaped bracelet on your wrist and it looks kind of awkward and it's, it's kind of huge. So I don't know why you would want to, but I guess, I guess kids back then, like to wear all kinds of things for bracelets, I guess. Um, so uh, each doll came with four different accessories. There was, um, they came with a comb. Uh, they came with uh, six uh, six muffins, and where well, they look like muffins, they're supposed to be cupcake uh, cupcakes. And I think they they look exactly like the muffins from the muffin one. And then they have. Um, they have another uh, a cupcake pan, since they're supposed to be cupcakes. And they come with a, a scratch and sniff recipe card. So they come with this card, and you can scratch it and smell whatever scent they're supposed to have. So, all right. So the, the six we have here, you got Cherry Mary Muffin. She came back. Um, okay. This time she's got a different face mold. She's got a, a toothy smile. So she's smiling and you kind of see her teeth. Um, something different but, there. Yeah, so she's the only one that actually has this face sculpt because all the rest of them have the the closed mouth smile like uh, like series one as well. So, um, all right. So she uh, she also had some crimped some kind of crimped hairstyle, eighties crimped hairstyle. If y'all remember that, yep. Um, her hat <laughs> her hat is a cupcake hat what she's got is shaped as a cupcake she's got pink cupcakes and a white cupcake pan uh so next we have chocolatey and she actually has no it's not chocolatey there she is she actually has like a a three-tier cake hat chocolate hat chocolate cake hat i don't know it looks like three tiers it's got three different layers on there so uh but it's really really tall i think I, uh-huh. my, Michael, mom makes enough cakes when you were younger that you should know that the top tier is just icing. It's not a tier of like, it's just icing. <laughs> well, it's it's three different. That, I'm just saying that looks like a bunch of fondue that's just laid over it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it like they, does, poured, yeah. they poured the icing on top and let it run down the sides a little bit. But you as tall know. as it is, as tall as it is, it's it's got three, it has to have three tiers on there. So each tier is I mean, a, but the, but got the different icing around it. Watching. You got three different icing around. It, it just needs the German chocolate icing on it. To make no, it right. don't do that. Don't do that. No. <laughs> Nobody needs any coconut. <laughs> so she comes with, uh, she's got chocolate cupcakes and then a, a pink cupcake pan. Um, she's Is got this... that scratch and sniff, scratch and sniff card too. That was a big thing back then was scratch and sniff back in the eighties. Yeah. Is this that. making anybody else hungry for like sweets? I can <laughs> use, I can, cupcake, I can use a little cupcake. Yeah. Uh, all right, so the next one we'll keep moving on because these are these are short and everything. So, all right, yeah. so next we have Bubblegum Becky. So, 
I guess she smells like bubble gum. But uh, one thing about this one was she was actually had a different name in Europe. She was called Tutti Fruity in Europe. That's because so, we don't know I what guess, Tutti Fruity is around here. I guess Europeans yeah. don't like bubble gum or something. I don't know. So I don't see why you didn't like I like bubble gum. But anyway, maybe maybe so. maybe one of our European listeners can tell us what's going on. What's why would they change it for that reason? To know. tutti fruity. Maybe they thought it, she didn't smell. Maybe she didn't all right. smelled all fruity and not bubble Is gummy. Tutti fruity, a brand of bubble gum? No, it's Trudy fruity. Yes, it's Trudy fruity. Yeah, uh, not tutti fruity. But maybe I don't know what. Like <laughs> yes, yeah. No, not not Tutti Fruity, but Trudy Fruity. Fruity. Now I can even say it right. Uh, Trudy I Fruity. Mean, it's a and Little Richard song. Bo Bubblegum Becky is her real name. Uh, so she's got this like a round, um, a round cake for a hat. Uh, this is like one of those round ones. It has a looks like it would be a fondue uh, around it, laying on top of it. But it's got polka dots on it too. Uh, with probably a little cherry or something on top is what it looks like. Um, it's got a little red thing on top. It looks like a cherry. Oh. Mm, what are you thinking, Andrew? So, um, so Tutti Fruity in the United Tr States. No, Trudy no, well, Fruity. I know, I know that's her name. But oh, okay. Tutti Fruity, which is what it's based off of, right? Um, so it's it has various chopped and usually candied candied fruits inside of it right so it's typically some kind of ice cream in the united states tutti frutti can also refer to fruits soaked in brandy or other spirits or even fruit fermented in <laughs> liquid containing sugar or yeast so I'm i was just wondering like, the family <laughs> did, mattel, <laughs> did mattel name her trudy fruity and then realize oh we shouldn't do that in america we can still do that in Europe and then change their name for America. Could be. I don't know. Because, I mean, you start to get into the alcohol stuff for kids. It's just not so maybe not the best. So is that what kind of fruit you want to make your fruitcake out of? I don't know. Ask Dad. Want to make fruitcake fruit better? I don't know. <laughs> Who else? Like I, don't <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Never you give really me some tutti fruity fruitcake, maybe I'll eat it. <laughs> maybe it'd be better. Maybe A little so. brandy? <laughs> All right, Dad, you have to let us know. How would Tutti Fruity fruitcake be? You took a little fruitcake, add some brandy in, you know. Hey, there you I don't go. Know. Maybe that'll make it better. Um, all right, so the next one is called her name is Greta Grape. And she, I guess she's a a grape cake. So which is guess... so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It reminds me of grape ape, grape ape. Um, okay, so the great, great, babe, babe, great, great, a grape. Um, she has it, to me, it looked like a little birthday cake hat. Um, but it's got uh, it's got these little purple things on top, I guess. It looks, um, I, I don't know, I guess they're grapes on top of the cake. I don't know, it's what it looks like. It's it's white, uh, with a, a yellow brim, it's white, and it's got grape purple things on top. So, yeah, that's all I can describe it. Great cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she's yeah, another, she, she's the uh, other uh, little black doll in this set as well. So uh, she's got uh, purple cupcakes with a yellow pan and a yellow yellow comb on that. So, um, oh, Bubblegum Becky had red cupcakes with lavender, with a lavender pan and comb, lavender colored. So that's what. I didn't say that, but that's what she did. Um, okay, so now we're going to Lily Vanilli. Not Millie Vanilli, but Lily Vanilli. <laughs> Boy, I was thinking some, the same thing. I was thinking the names same thing, on these, Yeah, they got some names on these dolls that remind you of other things. Um, so Lily Vanilli. Uh, so she's vanilla, I guess. Uh, she's, got, she's got another round. Her, her cake is round just like, uh, um, just like Bubblegum Becky's. But hers has flowers around it. And I guess she's got another bow on top of that hat. They kind of look like you look like Derby old hats. army <laughs> army hats from the World War oh, yeah, One or something. That. Yeah. That's what they look like, these round ones. They don't really look like cakes. They look like army hats with 
this one looks like army hat with flowers on it. Army so here was this is this yeah, is army 80, helmets. Yeah, this is eighty nine. Eight, yeah, these came out in eighty nine. Yeah, the, um, the muffins. The, I meant the cupcake ones. The cake ones. Yeah. I mean, I should know. Look at that dress. Um, you can tell that <laughs> that print came directly out of the eighties and yes. should have stayed there. Um, <laughs> maybe these hats are kind of referring to something that was going on either in Europe or um. 60s, 70s, 50s, something? I don't know. I see it kind of as a hat, but it also looks like a a cake. I don't know. But it's like a cake pan to me. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. You can We can wear it as a bracelet, too. So, yeah, the kids can. <laughs> All right, so she's got <laughs> she a... Wear it as a bracelet. What's wrong yeah. with Mattel? So she's got, uh, she's got yellow cupcakes and a light green pan. Kind of seafoam color, seafoam green color, and and the the comb's the same color, um, and like I said, like and and uh, like I said, these have all got the little scratch and sniff um, cards that you can scratch and you can smell, uh, Millie or or Lily Vanilli. <laughs> so, um, okay, so there's one more doll real quick for this for series two. Her name is Penny Peppermint. So. And she looks like, oh, she looks like this. Uh, yeah. Now there was a there was a movie from the fifties or sixties that had a guy that had a, and it was uh, it was guy. the old guy from the Goldbergs. I think it was him that played this character, and they he had a striped red and white striped suit on. That's what it reminds me of. I think it was either that or if it was. Uh, um, oh, I'll think of the guy's name here in a minute. I'll think of it here in a minute. Anyway, so let's talk about Penny Peppermint. Uh, she had a red, white, striped uh, bunt cake is what it looked like because it's got a hole in the middle or her hair can come through the top of it. Um, and she had red and striped sleeves on her dress with polka dots on her apron. And she's got white cupcakes with a pink pan. And she had a pink comb. And a peppermint smelling scratch and sniff card. So peppermint, peppermint. cake. Not really sure about that. No. Ah. I guess we need just... to make one and we need to try one. Nope. Yeah, that doesn't sound good to me. No, not a not a bunt cake now. I would uh, John, I would have a grape cake before I had a peppermint cake. <laughs> and I don't even want a grape cake. Yeah. I mean, I will give them credit that they went with purple grapes and not green grapes. Because could you imagine a green grape cake? No. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, no, it, it reminds me kind of something that uh, Dick Van Dyke wore in, in Mary Poppins or something. That's what it looks like. There you so, go. Yeah. There you go. Mary Poppins. Okay. All right. So that's series two. Series three, uh, they had five dolls, and these were ice cream themed. So, <coughs> so they went from muffins to cakes to ice cream. So they're just partying all around on these things. Um, so the the only returning doll was Cherry Mary Muffin, and she actually had two versions, two ver ver variations of her. And the others, where was other three dolls that come up for the the five dolls total. Um, there's three dolls were new to the line. Each doll had a sparkly pastel colored hair. So I guess to make it look icy or something, they put sparkly stuff in their hair, kind of like tinsel. Um, and then they had this bodysuit that either had a skirt or some kind of balloon pants, I guess like genie, like you're looking, uh, like I dream a genie type suit is what it looks like. Um, uh, and their eyes were different from series one and two. They were more brighter with little sparkles or sparkle painted in there. Um, and they did have, um, let me go back here real quick. Um, and they all did have that, the series three all had the, the, well, not all of them. I'm sorry. Uh, one, two. So three of them had the, the toothy smile, uh, face to them. So, uh, let's see. So. They had the accessories that came with these dolls were a flavored friend. So they had a friend with these guys again. Uh, it was shaped like an ice cream glass. 
so you had two different ones. You had you had one that came with uh, Cherry Mary Muffin. It was kind of a shorter, squattier glass, and it was wider. Um, and then the others, the other three came with a taller, skinnier glass. Now these were actually you can actually use these, put ice cream in it, and eat out of it. That's what these were made for. So as an accessory, so you can actually eat real ice cream out of these cups, these glasses. Um, but the glasses had little faces on them, like everything else has a little face, uh, little arms that stick out, and they've got feet as well uh, on them. Uh, so the um, so they also came with a comb, like the rest of them, so you can comb the hair. Um, there, mm -hmm. it came with a small bag of sprinkles, real sprinkles you can put on your ice cream. So I think I think this series three was the best one um, because. You also get a a Baskin Robbins taster spoon. Everybody remembers the little little pink spoons that you get the little samples with. Yeah. I had plenty of those growing up. Um, so uh, let's see. And then there was a coupon that came in as redeemable for a free child sized Baskin Robbins ice cream cone with any purchase of a regular regular cone. Uh, the only bad thing, the coupon expired in, in March 31st of 1992. So they still, they won't, they won't accept it anymore. So if you went and bought one, you couldn't use it. So should try. Uh, I bet, I bet somebody would. Say, hey, I'm I sure bet somebody would be like, like oh it. my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should, just, just if someone tried, they should give it to them just to, just because. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got one, please let me know. I'll use it. I'll try it. <laughs> Even if they charge me double, I don't care. I'll try it. But yeah, I think I think series three is the best out of this because it has that Basket Robbins tie in. So and I love Basket Robbins growing up. So uh, it, it, it kind of helped mom. That's where mom worked. As we I was going to say, mom worked. So, you probably remember that's more than mom worked. We do. I do. Yeah. I do. Yep. We always. Yeah. So. Uh, I remember going across the street, eating at McDonald's for lunch, getting some ice cream, and then going to school. For a yeah, couple Baskin hours. Robbins doesn't in exist kindergarten. anymore, does it? Yeah, they're still out there. Hmm? No, no, no. Yeah. The, that one, that one specifically. Didn't it no, that was gone. Title alone. No, place? it's not there anymore. No, it's not there anymore. It's something else. Yeah. yeah. But the McDonald's across the street's still there. It's still there. there. Yeah. So it's a general there. home. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, so let's talk about Cherry Mary Muffin. So she's the one that's carried across all three all three series. That's good. Uh, since it's named after her. Yeah. So they had a white version of Cherry Mary Muffin, and then they had a black version of Cherry Mary Muffin. So it was the same doll, just different color skin. That's what it is. So, um, and like I said, they all come with the little cups, little ice cream cups that you can eat real ice cream out of. Um, and a comb, and then a the little pink spoon came with all these. Uh, the next one, there you had cookies and cream, and that was her name, Cookies and Cream. Uh, so she had kind of a brownish hair with some white tinsel stuff in it. And this one here, even in the package that we're looking at on the screen, that's kind of wild. Her hair's wild, it's just crazy. It's a little uh, crazy there, yeah. So, okay, so the next one you have is, her name is Grape Ice, and she's got purple hair, and or kind of a lavender color hair and a purple dress, purple yeah, shoes painted on her. On. Yeah, she got a lot of purple going on. I mean, and then, again, again, props to um, Mattel for going with purple grapes and not green grapes here. <laughs> Just want to throw that out there make sure, you know. Well, they had green apples, so they had they had used the purple grapes. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the next one you have is Peach Perfection. And she's kind of peachy color hair. A lot yeah. of peach going on. A lot of yeah. peach color. Yeah. And then, so hey, that's Michael. Like yes. John, actually, not, not Michael, John. Do you know where peaches come from, John? From the come from the country. <laughs> Sorry, Rainy. <laughs> she'll get it. She'll get a kick out of that. Um, eat a million million peaches. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So 
we're going to go to uh, – so that's all of Series 3. You had two versions of Cherry Mary Muffin. You had Cookies and Cream, Grape Ice, and Peach Perfection. And so these are these are that's all the dolls, right? That's all yeah, the dolls. All of it. Yes. It's all three all. series of dolls. So let's talk yes. about these play sets. Well, so yeah, 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 let's talk about the play sets. Yeah, we'll do the play sets next. You had uh so there was play sets for series one and series two. Um series three was supposed to have a play set, but it was never produced. Um it was a little too late. The line was was gone by the time they uh, but they already had uh, pictures, promotion pictures and stuff up in the in the catalogs and stuff, but they never produced it. But Series 1, um, so there was four different play sets in Series 1. There was three play sets in Series 2. Uh, so Series 1, real quick, you had Mix and Wash play set. Uh, these actually had a lot of pieces to them because um, you're, you're looking at kitchen top pieces. Uh, so, so the mix and wash had 23 pieces in the set. Um, the big piece, the main piece of it was like a sink that you can use to, to pretend like you're washing all your little utensils and stuff. But the top of the sink pops off and it turns into like a real mixing bowl. So you can actually mix your mix stuff in it, um, use it for real life. Um, the next one was a pour and chill. Um, it was a milk carton shaped, uh, piece that turned into uh that the front of it opened up and it looked like a refrigerator um but it had a removable shelf in there um but that was it, but it also came with like a, a big cup that that the kid could can drink out of and a small cup for your doll to drink out of um there was a little ice cream carton and a small milk carton and a thing of eggs a little butter dish uh, with butter on it and a slice of what I thought it looked like cheesecake is all one piece color molded. Um, and then there was a thing that looked like a push pop. You remember the little, like little yeah. orange push pops type things. Um, so all that kind of stuff, pretty much almost all of it would fit in that, that refrigerator milk carton shaped refrigerator. So you can kind of pretend that you're, you're drinking stuff with your doll and, and keep it in the refrigerator or stuff like that. Um, so the next uh, place that there was is called Snack and Serve. So this was uh, it was a, a muffin mix box, and it actually folded out and turned because the sides would fold out and the legs would come down, and it turned into like a, a tea party, a tea party table. Um, it came with a teapot. It came with some little cups and saucers. Um, there was two little muffins that your little dolls can pretend to eat and some spoons that came with it. So, uh, and then, uh, the next one was time and bake, uh, play set. It was kind of a, it, it was a, looked like a block, kind of like a, a, a timer. You could turn the face of it. It had a little face on it, a little smiley face. And all, like I said, all these, the, uh, like the pour and chill, the milk carton, it had a face on the front of it. The uh, the mix and wash with the 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 uh, sink that we're looking at looked like had a little face on the front. They all look like little friendly little things with faces and feet and arms. But um, but anyway, it had this was a uh, a little pretend timer. You could turn the, the front of it looked like a little timer, but it, it really didn't it really didn't tick down to it didn't work. It was just you just turn it. Um, it also turns into an oven, so you can open up the front of it, and yeah, now we got a picture of it there. Um, you can open up the front of it, uh, or it pops down like an oven. You can put your little baking stuff that you had comes with it into it, like you're baking a real cake or something, and then the top folds up, uh, and it's got an oven or a little, little um, place where you can put your, it's got a little, uh, a little pot that you can put on the stove, like at the top of the stove. Um, on the burner um, but it comes with it's got 10 different pieces with this set it comes with a little thing of cookies or look like cookies um, you got a little cake you got a little spatula a little spoon a little pot and a little cake pan is what you get and there's a few other smaller pieces in it um, now all these little pieces that come with all these play sets you can find them in, in various colors and they don't they weren't always the same color and uh, from set to set. Sometimes if it's blue in one set, a cake, blue cake pan, 
Uh, if you look and if you buy a second one, the cake, it, cake pan can be a different color. It could be yellow or something. So they did. They didn't stick with the same color that they were molded in um, for those. Um, so that's all series uh, series one. The the sink playset, uh, the milk carton turns into a refrigerator playset, uh, the muffin mix box that turns into a tea party table, and then the time and bake set with the timer it turns into an oven that's used as an oven. So, I was just looking um, at the uh, that refrigerator that turned the milk carton that turns into the fridge. That's pretty genius. I like that. It's kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. I like the little hands off the side. I wish my fridge had hands off the side like that. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it's a little I, friendly I, I thing. It's a little, little, smiley, I would. little smiley face, got little hands sticking out and little feet. I mean, it's like he's, it looks like he's sitting because his feet are on the side of the carton. So it looks like he's sitting down. Is so. this the little girl from 1988 equivalent to Han Solo being in Carbonite, <laughs> like on the fridge thing? Have you seen those? People putting yeah. like decals that makes it look like Han Solo oh, stuff it look the Han's on the front of your refrigerator. No. Yeah. Is this the little girl 1988 yeah. version of that? Yeah, I guess it could be. Okay. Yeah. All right. So series two play sets real quick. You got the cherry surprise bake shop. Uh, this thing actually has 21 different pieces. Um, there is like a, uh, it looks like a three layer cake set does and when it's, when it's all compacted it looks like a three layer cake but you can put the little there's little stands that it that you put on it and it separates the pieces and it becomes a uh, turns into like different shelves that hold the other goodies that come with it so um you can it comes with it looks like your um it looks like a cake, then it turns into like a store because you got all these shelves that you, your goodies are on and it had, comes with a cash register. It comes with a shopping buggy, um, a shopping cart. It comes with like a box of donuts, a box of cookies. It's got two little pies that come with it. It's got like a cake. Um, there's looks like, I think it's a little small paper money that come with this too. So it's like, um, it's like you're going shopping and everything's up on the shelves and you pull it off. And then once the shelves are empty, you compact it down and it looks like a three tier cake. So, yeah, a big tier three tier cake with a smiley face and little feet under it and arms sticking this, out the sides. So, this actually has tears on it. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so that's your cherry surprise bake shop. Uh, so, and John's showing pictures of it there. So, yeah, lots of lots of stuff here. Like this is very much like a wedding cake style, as to what I remember mom making wedding yeah. cakes back in the eighties. Especially with all this stuff in here with the levels and stuff, I remember mom making those, and we had to set the cakes on, and she had to put the stuff, you know. Yeah. All yeah. The well, when you there. when you when you compact it down, the little stands there in the middle, they go on top, and they look like candles. So it's yeah. like a birthday cake. The the face. Yeah. The face looks like it's ready to eat itself, which then <laughs> makes this a cannibal cake. It's got a big smile with the tongue sticking out like he's licking his lips. Like, mm, yeah. So ready. in one of these pictures right here, the tongue is on one side and then the one up top, the tongue's on the other side. <laughs> it's probably it's probably just reverse or something. Yeah, reverse reverse negative picture. Yeah, that's all it is. I just think yeah, it's, it's, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool cake. Right. So the next one you have is Pastry Cafe. So Pastry Cafe is a magical pie that turns into a cafe table. So <laughs> magical pie. So what it is is that you know again it's got a little smiley face on it with the arms that stick out and the legs underneath it. Um, well, the top of the pie raises up and it becomes the spoon, the umbrella. Yeah, the spoon that that comes with the set can go in the middle between the, the the pie and the top of the pie and it makes it look like it's a little umbrella over a table that's what it looks like so uh let's see the it comes with 21 pieces with this set uh, so you got placemats you got cups you got a slice of pie you got a spoon you got a serving tray 
uh, you got some plates, you got some muffins, and then the the cups that the muffins sit in. Once you pull them out, you can turn the cups upside down, and they make chairs for your doll to sit on while you're sitting at the t at the little um, pastry cafe um, table. So she only got one slice of pie, so they did not plan on the dolls sharing the pie. Or yeah. Nope. No well, sharing. You got, four, you got four muffins there, and you got one piece of pie. Yeah. So. I'm just. But you got four muffins I'm, and two muffin pans that turn into chairs. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't doesn't work out very well. Uh, so, uh, so that's um, uh, this also was sold. This 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 little set here was also sold as a gift set, uh, with a cherry Mary muffin doll that came with it. So you get a deluxe, kind of a deluxe set with a doll. These sets don't come with dolls unless you get these deluxe sets. All right, so the next one we have is a wedding cake and party. Uh, the cake turns into measuring cups. So you have these, these little cake pieces that are stacked on top of each other. Well, if you turn them upside down, they're hollow inside, and they use them as, as like real measuring cups. So the kid can actually... Uh, what's cool about these sets is they're... There's stuff within this within them that you can actually use to do real stuff with. So um, it kind of promotes uh, baking, I guess, for, for the kids. Gets them interested in that. Um, so these you, you turn them over, turn into measuring cups, and then you can flip the cups back over. Um, and they use the, the top two can be used as chairs while you use the bottom piece of the cake as a table. So interesting yes so you're actually sitting on the the table sitting has on a little, cake the, the the yeah if you look at yeah. it though the the bottom piece is the table well it's got feet that stick out because they all have feet the one chair has little arms that stick out of it and then the other the other chair that you're sitting on has a little smiley face on it so, last time last time i tried to sit on cake i got in trouble yes don't sit on cake it's mushy um so <laughs> Uh, one thing other things come with this set there's uh it comes with some plates and some play cake pieces so your doll looks like your doll is actually <coughs> eating cake um it comes with these uh, they look like sporks is what it looks like to me it's what I call, <laughs> it's a spork <laughs> yeah they're, they're they're sporks um and then they have decoration to decorate your wedding cake so when you're stacked it up for a wedding cake you can put a little piece on top that looks like two little birds um kissing or whatever and then you have a, another piece that you can put up there that looks like a little uh, bride that can sit on top um and so yeah you get different things you can kind of decorate it there's one with a, a a rose that you can put on top to decorate it as a as a uh, a wedding cake it as looks, well looks like little um, bells yeah it's got little bells and stuff it's got like i said yeah you can tell this picture and another picture have two different colors, but it's like I said, they all it just depends on whatever color they wanted to use that day that they made this stuff. So um, I guess they, they didn't use the same colors forever every time. Um, yeah, see, this set, cool. yeah, this set was also sold as a gift set, just like the last one. Um, and it came with Cherry Mary Muffin wearing the wedding dress outfit, which we'll get to here in a minute. So I'm um, glad Cherry Mary Muffin got married. Yeah, but there was no boy dolls in here, so there was nobody to marry too. That's fine. She's marrying a doll from a different from a different toy line. It's fine. Yeah, Joe. Oh, there she's marrying Joe. Right. That's a that's a that's an interesting one because <laughs> Cherry Mary Muffin's much taller than GI Joe. She's twice as tall as GI Joe. <laughs> Short King. All right, so that was the uh, the the ones for series two. Uh, like I said, series three had that unproduced play set. It was actually a blender, and it was called a milkshake magic blender. Was the name of the playset, um, and it actually worked. It actually you can blend malts and shakes and ice cream drinks in it. Um, uh, it had a little straw holder, um, and, and it actually um, it had a doll sized table. It came with glasses. Um, or the glasses that came with it, you can actually flip them over and they turn into chairs for your dolls to sit on. Um, there was also, uh, it was also, yeah. Oh yeah. They are heart shaped. 
Uh, but you can actually you can actually drink out of it. So you can use this. It's, it's, it's a battery operated blender, pretty much what it was. So you can make your own drinks and drink out of it with the glasses. And you turn the glass upside down and put your doll on it, sitting on it while it's sitting at this little little straw. The straw holder, like I said, you flip it over and it turns into a it turns into the table that you can sit at with these. You flip everything over, they turn into something different, I guess. Um, it also it was supposed to include a Baskin Robbins hot hot fudge topping and a recipe card, so you can make your own mixes and stuff with it. Um, um, it had two cupcakes that you, your dolls can pretend to eat, and some foot placemats. There was also a coupon for one dollar off a quarter a quart of hand picked Baskin Robbins ice cream. Okay, so. Back in '88, that you know, it's not I don't a bad know about hand picked ice cream. I've never hand picked my ice cream. Does it grow? I guess, does it grow on the vine out there? You go, well, ask, it. ask mom what hand picked ice cream is from Baskin Robbins. Maybe she'll ask for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so that's the play sets. Uh, real quick, we're going to do the fashion sets real quick. Um, there was four of those. You had a kitchen fun, which was a dress with an apron and a hat. That you can dress your doll up in. Uh, there was a splash and fun swim, sun suit, uh, which was beachwear for your doll to dress up in. Um, you had the merry wedding dress, which we talked about. That, that uh, cherry merry muffin came with uh, the the cake with and the um, the big uh, the big set there. Um, and then there was sweet slumber nighty, which was a sleepwear for your doll to, to dress up in. The Kitchen Fun and the Sweet Slumber sets were also um, sold with third series doll under the name Kitchen Kitchen Fun Doll. So you can actually get your ice cream dolls with these two already in these suits. So in these, these outfits. Um, there was also a thing called Sunday Sleeper, which was a kind of like a slumber bag, sleeping bag that had two sleeping bags that were and you folded them together. Um, it looked like a quilted ice cream cone, uh, but you can fit a doll on both sides. And if you fold it around, you, so it holds two dolls. Um, and it included real ice cream toppings and a nightgown outfit as well with it. So, uh, again, it comes with the real toppings you can use on real ice cream from Baskin Robbins. So, um, so that's it for all the big dolls. Now we're going to talk about the miniatures real quick. Uh, the miniatures, these there was 18 different miniatures. Uh, they were two and a half inches sculpted figures. So they were like the, um, we talked about Smurfs and all them that, that are just yeah. stationary. They, they have no articulation or nothing. They were just figures that were molded. Um, so uh, they came, uh, each of them came with uh, one of five different houses. Uh, so there was six of these released in 1988. Uh, they matched the Series 1 dolls with the bows on their hair. Um, the, then there was 12 from 1989. Uh, these actually came with little, they, they were sculpted with the little cake hats on their hat, on their heads. Uh, so the five different houses that came with these, you had an ice cream soda. Uh, that's what it looked like. It looked like a little ice cream soda and the front of it opened up the door, had a little house door on the front of all these. So you had that, you had a layer cake with the door on it, uh, milk carton, uh, milk carton house, a uh, cupcake cottage house and ice cream cone house um and your it would open up and your figure can actually fit inside these things uh like these were also scented as well so they smelt like your uh whatever scent that, that they were supposed to be um these figures had were a very glossy finish and they were very detailed so they had a lot of detail in them uh, so the first one uh for 1988 for the first series you had cherry mary muffin um, you had a figure that was holding Cherry Sweet, the little the little friend that came with them. Uh, she came with the Cupcake Cottage House. Um, and then there was another one, a Cherry Mary Muffin holding a muffin pan. And that one came in an ice cream soda house. Uh, then you have Apple Amy. She was holding Apple Buddy, her little friend. And she came in a Cupcake Cottage House. Uh, Bonancy was holding, uh, her figure is holding Bitty Banana. And she came in a cupcake cottage house as well. Uh, let's see. So Barry, uh, Betty Berry, 
she was holding a little dip and she came <clears> in an ice cream soda house. Chocolati uh, was holding chocolate dip and she came in an ice cream soda house as well. Um, now the next ones are all from 1989 and they're the ones that had the hats. Um, so you had Cherry Mary Muffin. Uh, her little figure was pushing a, a tea cart uh, full of pink cupcakes. And that one came in an ice cream cone house. Um, and then there was one with her standing with a yellow dog. Uh, she came in a layer cake house. Um, all these have two. They have two versions of each figure is what this is. Uh, so Bubblegum Becky had one holding a basket of apples. And she, that one came in a layer cake house. Uh, she also had a, she was holding a yellow kitten and came in the ice cream cone house. Chocolati came with, uh, she was holding a basket with a bunny rabbit in it. Uh, she came in a milk carton house. And then her second one was wearing pink roller skates. And she came in a layer cake house. Greta Grape was, had a figure was, stand, was standing with a kitty kitten beside her. Uh, the ice cream cone house. And then there was one with her pushing a buggy. And she came with in a milk carton house. Lily Vanilli had one, had her figure was holding a rose um, and carrying uh, and wearing, she was wearing ballet slippers. So she had a rose and ballet slippers. She came in a Milton Carton house. Her second one was standing with a lamb and that one came with a ice cream cone house. And then you had Penny Peppermint. Uh, her figures, uh, the first one was holding a cup and saucer and a teapot. She came in a layer cake house. And then the second one was holding a yellow lollipop. And she came in a milk carton house. So that's those. Um, there was also a six pack of, of these uh, figures. The six pack came with one that came from the series one, the 1988 line with the bow and the hair. And then the other five all were from, from 89 line with the cakes. So you got a Betty Berry, which was from series well, series one with the bow. And then you had a Cherry Mary Muffin, Bubblegum Becky, Chocolati, Lily Vanilli, and Penny Peppermint all came in this six pack. And it, they were just various. The, that was the, the figures, but it was the different. It, it came with different figures. It wasn't the same. It could be one or the other of the two figures of, of each one, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. That um, sense okay. All right. So the miniatures had two play sets. Uh, you had a cherry go round carousel. This actually wound up and spun. Um, they had little cupcake tins that the dolls would sit in. While it spun, like it was like a merry-go-round with little chairs that you would sit in, um, and then the and there was a cupcake cafe playset. Uh, the back folds down to reveal inside of a cafe. Um, it includes some play sodas, snacks, and jukebox. Um, the door actually springs open. I think it's got a little little floor mat or a little doormat up front. And when you push the doormat or put your finger on it, the door would open. Um, there was a tray that would flip, and when it flipped, the food would would show up. It had food on the other side. When it flipped, you'd find you'd see the food. Uh, the jukebox record actually spun, and then there was thirteen miscellaneous pieces with this, with cups and plates and stuff like that, uh, little chairs and little tables. So, and that's that's it. That's the line. So, so interesting. A, a lot of a <laughs> lot of actual stuff there. Yeah. Um, like, I was, there was it, more I was expecting it to be that much. To be honest, there was more than I thought when I when I started digging into this. Yeah. So, yeah. so but, this is the seventh line that we've talked about in our fifth series um, of rankings. So, uh, let's rank these, gentlemen. Michael. Um. These guys, they're interesting. I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them between Captain Power and Ring Raiders there. So number six, you're gonna knock yeah, down the Ring be, Raiders. Yeah, it'll be number six. Yes, John. Yeah, I'm going the same spot. I like these. I like the. I think they're cool that they have the little deals that with the baking stuff and you know. 
kind of more interaction with teaching for the kids. Yeah, it gets you. I think it kind of gets you interested in, in baking. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I did like those. So definitely going to push down Ring Raiders. And the, um, and the Baskin Robbins tie in is, is good for me too. Well, that was yeah, really good. I, I, I like that. I actually think they did a good job besides the banana -y or whatever her name was. <laughs> Banancy. Uh, Banancy. Like, Banancy. Yeah. I actually went with the same spot. I'd already ranked mine before in the, in the back end of the system, um, putting it under big gym right above ring Raiders. So this is going to sit number six for all of us. Ring Raiders just was not, not our thing apparently. Um, right. Besides okay. Banancy, the rest of it, I think is cool. Like even the play sets that, you know, you've got a cup and you turn it over. Like they're trying to do two things out of one thing, mm -hmm. you know, and make it easier so you can play with this, but you could actually also use it. So kind of like it. It's kind of a yeah. Yeah. kind of a good thing. So and this thing about fact, the straw holder though, to flip it over and use it, you have to dump all the straws out. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> the the fact that they're basically trying to copy a little bit of strawberry shortcake. I mean, it makes sense. You know, strawberry shortcake was doing good at the time. You know, you want to come off of that. You got to scratch and sniff stuff. Um, I, I think this line works. Yeah. You know, it was probably pretty little, big for three years. They went they went a little further than strawberry shortcake because of the, the interaction with the with the pieces that you can actually utilize, like the the mixing bowl and the cups and the and all that kind of stuff like that were not not they weren't just smelly dolls. So right. yeah, yeah, it's just. Yeah, there's a lot that's going on here. And I, I think they actually did a really good job. Um, like I said, this probably ran pretty big for three years and then just kind of ran itself out uh, yeah. out of what's going on. So, you know, yeah, I think these are actually pretty nice. And, you know, had we been girls, maybe we'd play with them a lot of time. I'll start asking people if they remember the Cherry Mary muffin dolls. Yeah, something about your age, not mine. Mine wouldn't remember. This <laughs> no, this did remind me that there is a toy that we do. I looked at our list and it was not on there and everybody will be ashamed that it was not on our list. Care to take a stab at what it might be? Nah. Strawberry shortcake. No, we already talked about strawberry shortcake. No, we shortcake. talked about strawberry oh, shortcake. That's right. Yeah. A couple years ago, but we talked about it. <laughs> it was right <laughs> like, around... Really? It was it was when you were talking about the uh, the blender, Michael. Okay. Yeah, I st I'm still drawing a blank. I can't think of anything. We have not talked about it, and it was not on our list to talk about the Easy Bake Oven. Oh, what's wrong with well, this? Well, the, this the reason why it's not is because it's not a line. It's just an oven. An oven. <laughs> I know, but but it's definitely it's it might still, not be a line. We're gonna have still... to. That's gonna have to tie into like we did the. The doll, the I don't, buddy I, dolls type thing. I don't know. A, I think, I think we have to talk about that because I think it could be a whole episode to learn about that thing. Uh, and then maybe I'll get one and we'll see if I can figure out how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Tell you what, um, buy, buy an original one boxed, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll try out the recipe. <laughs> come on, come on! I live in Denver. There's no way I can afford that. Um, <laughs> anything you guys want to add? About Cherry Mary Muffin Dolls? Nope. Might have nope. actually, I would say, may actually beat out a Strawberry Shortcake for me. If, if they were together. Okay. Unless unless somebody was like, you get Strawberry Shortcake or Bonanzi. And then I'd be like, all right, Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> um, I like strawberries. Not I don't, I'm not a big cherry fan, so unless it's Cherry Dr. Pepper, but... Um... I'm just not a big fan of this Bonanzi. <laughs> Thing. Like, like I'm not, not, not sure about the great cake. <laughs> I'm not sure about the name Bonancy either. Like it's just <laughs> a weird name. I like I like Lily Vanilli. The, the other names seem to work. Lily Vanilli. Bonancy was just oh. a little odd. So Where she sings and dances um, too, or, or it's just dances and lip syncs. <laughs> yes. Uh so uh if you guys don't have anything else to add, no, nothing? No, Baskin um, Robbins was the best. They still are. They still They're, are. Well, I don't know. I kind of like Marble Slab, but there's not a lot of them around. There's not. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for listening to episode 139, uh, where we talked about the Cherry Mary Muffin dolls from Mattel. 1988 to 1990. Uh, good dolls. Uh, I think it was really interesting. Um, if you got this far in our episode, drop us a tweet. 
Um, and I'm sure there's a muffin emoji that you can send to us. Um, and if you do that, John will send you a sticker because I'm sure John still has some stickers or something. I don't know. We got, we got all kinds of stuff. Um, be sure you check out our, our website, pin. Twitter, still got our pins. pin. Still got pins. Uh, be <laughs> sure to check out our website, toyrewindpodcast.com and all of our social medias. You can find us at Toy Rewind Pod. If it looks like there's three dorky, dorky brothers running the, the social media, then it was probably us. Um, if it looks professional, it's probably not us. Uh, I think that's about it. Anything else? Nothing? Nope. Nothing I think that think wraps up 139. That wraps it up. Thanks for listening. And on behalf of the Brothers Newland here at the Toy Rewind Podcast, play on. You've been listening to the Toy Rewind Podcast. Follow and join in the conversations at toyrewindpodcast.com. 